Are we alone in the universe? It's a question that has captivated scientists and the public alike for decades. And now, NASA has made a groundbreaking discovery that could bring us one step closer to finding the answer. Liquid water has been found on Mars, a planet long thought to be dry and barren. This discovery has sparked new hope and excitement in the search for life beyond our planet. So grab a seat and get ready to be amazed as we explore this incredible breakthrough and what it means for the future of space exploration. Mars must still be geothermally active in order to keep the water beneath the ice cap liquid. Scientists found water. Scientists have uncovered further evidence that liquid water exists beneath the ice cap at the southern pole of Mars, and it may mean that the planet is geothermally active. In 2018, the European Mars Express orbiter found that the surface of the ice cap covering the south pole of Mars dips and rises, suggesting liquid water may be lurking underneath. But not all scientists were convinced at that time. Mars is extremely cold, and for subglacial water to exist on the planet in the liquid form, there would have to be a source of heat, such as geothermal energy. At the time of the Mars Express discovery, some scientists therefore thought the strange radar signal measured by the spacecraft might be explained by something else. For example, some sort of dry material below the ice caps. Spacecraft Laser Altimeter Measurements Using spacecraft laser altimeter measurements from NASA's Mars Global Surveyor Satellite to map the topography or shape of the upper surface of the ice cap, the researchers detected subtle patterns of height differences that matched computer model predictions for how a body of water beneath the ice cap would affect its surface. The combination of the new topographic evidence, our computer model results, and the radar data make it much more likely that at least one area of subglacial liquid water exists on Mars today. Thick Ice Scientists have been aware that Mars has thick water ice caps at both poles just like Earth, but they believe that unlike the ice caps of our planet which have water-filled channels and subglacial lakes below them, the red planet's ice caps were frozen all the way down to their base or bed because of the planet's cold climate. The shape of the Martian ice caps was selected as an independent line of evidence to confirm the radar results because on Earth, scientists have observed that the shape of an overlying ice sheet is influenced by the body of water beneath it. This is because the water in subglacial lakes lowers the friction between an ice sheet and its bed, allowing the ice to flow faster under the influence of gravity. On the surface of the ice sheet, this change in speed is reflected by a dip in its surface, followed by a rise in the ice surface further down the ice flow. Examining the surface topography from the same area where Mars Express made its radar measurements, the team found a 6.2 mile to 9.3 mile long, 10 to 15 kilometers, surface undulation. A test. To test this correlation, and to determine if the surface undulation of the Martian ice cap could be the result of subglacial water, the team ran simulations of ice flow adapted to specific conditions on Mars. They introduced into their computer model of a Martian ice sheet a patch of reduced bed friction, where water would allow the ice flow to speed up. The researchers also adjusted the amount of geothermal heat in the simulation. These simulations resulted in undulations in the computer-modeled ice surface that were similar in both size and shape to the observed features of the actual southern polar ice cap on Mars. A combination of the results from this simulation, the new topography observations of the ice cap, and the 2018 radar results point toward the existence of subglacial water beneath the southern polar ice cap, with deeper implications for the geology of the red planet. Home to many glaciers Many large areas of Mars either appear to host glaciers or carry evidence that they used to be present. Much of the areas in high latitudes, especially the Ismenius Lucas quadrangle, are suspected to still contain enormous amounts of water ice. Recent evidence has led many planetary scientists to conclude that water ice still exists as glaciers across much of the Martian mid- and high latitudes, protected from sublimation by thin coverings of insulating rock and slash or dust. An example of this are the glacier-like features called lobate debris aprons in an area called Deuteronomus Mensae, which display widespread evidence of ice lying beneath a few meters of rock debris. Glaciers are associated with fretted terrain and many volcanoes. Researchers have described glacial deposits on Hecate's Tholus, Arshamans, Pavanus Mons, 
and Olympus Mons. Glaciers have also been reported in a number of larger Martian craters in the mid-latitudes and above. Is Mars sweating? A big question swirls around the origin of that water. Where is it coming from? One possibility is that the seeps are fueled by an aquifer or melting subsurface ice. These scenarios would have Mars essentially sweating, with salt water seeping from its pores and trickling down slopes as the planet warms. The water might also be atmospheric in origin, which is the hypothesis the team seems to favor. In this scenario, surface salts absorb water vapor in the Martian atmosphere. If the humidity in the Martian atmosphere gets high enough, Percolate salts will absorb the atmospheric water until the salt dissolves forms a liquid solution, says Mary Beth Wilhelm of NASA's Ames Research Center. Wherever it's sourced, it's no surprise that there's water on Mars. Entire Martian landscapes have been sculpted by the stuff, including an ancient mile deep sea. Albert billions of years ago, when the planet was warmer and more watery, the fleet of spacecraft currently exploring the Martian surface continually returned data suggesting that water was once common. In 2012, Curiosity rover found direct evidence for flowing water on Mars in the past. But until now, evidence has been scarce for flowing water at the surface today. What it means in the bigger picture of planetary exploration and the search for life beyond Earth is still a mystery. Habitability Assessments since the Viking landers that searched for current microbial life in 1976, NASA has pursued a follow-the-water strategy on Mars. However, liquid water is a necessary but not sufficient condition for life as we know it, because habitability is a function of a multitude of environmental parameters. Chemical, physical, geological, and geographic attributes shape the environments on Mars. Isolated measurements of these factors may be insufficient to deem an environment habitable, but the sum of measurements can help predict locations with greater or lesser habitability potential. Habitable environments need not be inhabited, and for purposes of planetary protection, scientists are trying to identify potential habitats where stowaway bacteria from Earth on spacecraft could contaminate Mars. If life exists, or existed, on Mars, evidence or biosignatures could be found in a subsurface, away from present-day harsh surface conditions such as perchlorates, ionizing radiation, desiccation, and freezing. Habitable locations could occur kilometers below the surface in a hypothetical hydrosphere, or it could occur near the subsurface in contact with permafrost. In conclusion, the discovery of liquid water on Mars is an exciting development in our ongoing exploration of the Red Planet. This finding not only provides further evidence of the planet's potential to support life, but also opens up new possibilities for human exploration and habitation in the future. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our neighboring planet, the discovery of liquid water on Mars reminds us of the vast potential for discovery and exploration that lies beyond our planet Earth. If you found this video informative, make sure to hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this.